What is going on, my Super Sandwiches? Ramza here, Jim Akira back for another Dragon Ball Super Review episode 49. This is the four, and this is the, no, the, the that nine. One, the, yeah. That one, yeah, math. Yeah. <laughs> I'm keeping that in the intro, I don't care. Episode 49 continues us in the Dragon Ball Super Trunks arc, and oh my gosh, it's getting more and more excited. Wow. Listen, I'm gonna say this right now. If you're still as hyped as I am, as we are, as even my puppy is, for the series, make sure you leave a like right below because it's only beginning! <laughs> and I can't believe that Toei is doing this to us where they're just basically leaving these cliffhangers and just hyping it up for us. And I just wanna see what happens next. Me Hi, too. I'm, I'm so excited to see. I just wanna know what Goku Black is. Like, where did he come from? Who is he? I just wanna know really bad. I have a big theory now that I'm going to do in a separate video because I like to do, okay. uh, just so we can focus around that one topic, I'll briefly talk about it in this, but I'll probably do the actual topic around Goku Black tomorrow. So make sure you, if you watch this, to come back tomorrow because we're going to be talking about this and it's going to be exciting stuff. So bring your theories and ideas and suggestions and whatever, well not your suggestions, but your ideas and feedback and we'll discuss it tomorrow. So let's go ahead and just break down the episode first. So. Trunks wakes up out of his PTSD and a very important detail happens and that is the fact that he says, oh I thought you were dead. Big shout out to Toei for actually uh, remembering that. This is not something I expected and I remember I made a joke before this episode aired saying, I wonder if he even knows that like, you know, Goku died before he left. Because remember, when uh, Trunks came back last time, Goku sacrificed himself to Cell and then Cell came back. So in his eyes he died. So when he woke up and saw Goku standing in front of his face, he thought, he thought it was black. So it was PTSD. But mostly him thinking that was black, that's why he attacked him. Which of course, Bulma swoops in, slaps him in the back of the head, and she also slapped the mess out of the Pilaf game, which we all wanted to do for a long time, so big shout to her for that. But uh, that's why he attacked. So that's when he explains the situation of how the future is in danger again. And another important detail, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is addressed too. They asked, oh is it Majin Buu? Oh no, 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 I took care of that. This man! <laughs> This man took care of the future the right way and he answered the age old question. I made a video immediately after episode 49 aired and talked about it. She was in the other room because she doesn't watch the episode live and she was yeah. like, what is going on? Why are you freaking out? I was, I was allowed, I was loud, wasn't I? Yeah, you were super loud. <laughs> I, already, I already knew what was going on without even watching it. Yeah, so what happened was, it looks like Babidi and uh, Deborah did show up in the future as well at some point after they restored it from Cell and they were on a mission to wake up um, uh, Majin Buu. Which is funny because the Bura is stronger than the android, so I don't know why they just didn't show up at some point, you know, during the android rampage. Because at first I thought, well maybe they should have, because you know, the, the, the rampage died down, but then I realized the Bura is basically the same level as Perfect Cell, so they could have just taken care of the android and then revive Majin Buu, which would have been an insane threat. But, with the help of Kaioshin, which I assume he just basically told him what to do, because remember, uh, Supreme Kai did show up and he was like, look, we gotta do this, we gotta do that, but then, you know, since Goku, Vegeta, and the whole crew are like, no, 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 we'll, we'll handle it our way, they led to the awakening to Majin Buu, but since Trunks is so careful and cautious and awesome, he took care of it. He killed Dabura, he killed Babidi, and bam, future is safe. But then, then, I don't know why I talk the way I talk when I'm doing these reviews, but I just get in the kind of the mode. Look at her, she's just like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> what happened then is, is uh, Goku Black showed up and he wanted to exterminate the people of Earth for justice. Now, I want to know what that means. Well, I have a quick theory that I'll toss out, and I'll do like a more broken down one tomorrow. But I'm starting to believe, and this is this is a this is a huge shot in the dark. Now, most likely completely off, but I'm gonna toss it out there anyways. I'm starting to think that maybe indeed Goku is or Black is the god of destruction of that future for several reasons. Number one, he has been going for plan to plan destroying. Now, the only reason, the only thing that's keeping me from believing that he is a god of destruction is because uh, Beerus just destroys. Like, he doesn't, like, take his time with it. And Goku Black has been in the future for, like, a year now, just ravaging and killing every human one by one. But the only theory that I have, the reason why he does that, is every god of destruction could technically be different. And in Black's situation, instead of doing slow, you know, fast and just getting to the point, because uh, Beerus is kind of lazy after all, so he just kind of would rather just blow it up and go on with his day and eat food. Goku Black probably takes his uh, sweet time, essentially. And again, when Goku Black fights against, you know, the Z Fighters, he has to be in the level of a god. He can't just be some random guy who's like the power of Super Saiyan 2 or Super Saiyan 3. It wouldn't make any sense, because Goku and Vegeta would just take him out like that. With that said, because of his pure power, on top of that, he has a time ring, which is only something the gods have. And they talked about how it's uh, a crime to travel uh, through time. I feel like the reason why Black is targeting the future is because of Trunks' actions. He traveled in time and 
yeah. to put things right. Yeah, exactly. The way they should have been. And remember, as a god of destruction, your power isn't to be, or your job isn't to be evil, but it's to be more on the... Neutral side. The neutral side, the That's balances. why Beerus is a cat, because cats are neutral. They don't care. Mm -hmm. All they care about is themselves. And something else I, I said before is, is I don't believe that there is a future Beerus. I feel like, as a god, there has to be only one. Like, there has to be only one god per, like, you know... They can travel through time or whatever, uh, but I feel like if there's a future beer, it's be kind of weird. Does that make sense? Like there, there should only be one god, including gods of destruction. So I feel like in that timeline, instead of it being Beerus, it's Black. He's the god of destruction there, and like I said, he just probably operates at a different level. Now again, I'm probably going to do a more broken down video tomorrow, so come back tomorrow for that. I'll have probably geek them on the show or something on, on the video, not the show, uh, and we'll talk about our you know our thoughts on that overall. But let me know what you guys think. Who is Black and why? Why is he doing what he's doing? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Now, to those who kept up with the episode leaks, we are going to get the answer fairly soon. I'm not going to say one because I don't want to spoil it in case you didn't know, but we are going to get the identity revealed uh, fairly soon, which is cool. But, yeah, what else happened in the episode? Okay, we see Goku and uh, Trunks sparring, similar to what they did when uh, Trunks first showed up a while ago in the Cell Saga. It's also revealed that he does have Super Saiyan 2, which is exciting because you guys remember, in the Cell Saga, Future Trunks only was able to do the Ultra Santa form, which is basically like the buff Super Saiyan form, but not Super Saiyan 2. So at some point he must have mastered that and uh, and something else I want to toss out is a lot of people are now saying that is, is it possible that Trunks has the Z Sword? The answer is no. And the reason why I say no is because the reason why the Z Sword was even brought into existence in the main timeline is because it was kind of like a plan B. It's like, well crap, Majin Buu's awake, what do we do now? The whole universe is, is at stake here, what do we do? So which they took Gohan to Supreme Kai's planet which is like a sacred place. Like no one can go there except for a Kai. And that's how that situation was, was built up. But in Trunks' situation, since he basically listened to Kaio Shin, it's like, hey, by the way, these bad guys are gonna come here. I need you to just take care of us. You know, yeah, I got you. You know, I, I got it. There was no need for that to happen. So because of that, I don't think the Z Sword is what sword Trunks actually has. He probably has some another one that he got from somewhere else. Because if you guys remember, the Z Sword, well, not the Z Sword, but the sword that Trunks had in the Cell Saga did shatter against um, Andrew 18. So at some point, he got a new one. Uh, surprise, surprise. So, yeah. And then we see a quick sparring session. Goku goes Super Saiyan 3, which is kind of cool to see. And he busted Trunks' ass. Uh, Very easily. My, my bad. We're cool? Cool? Are you okay? <laughs> you, you okay, dog? I didn't mean hit you like you that. Right? Yeah. And then it's revealed that uh, Black is at least the same level of Goku, if not stronger. But now again, he has to be in a level of God. Because it wouldn't make sense for him to be like the strength of a Super Saiyan 3 or something. In which case, he shows up and then gets easily taken care of. So... I feel like he's got to be a god, but I don't, again, we'll talk about that tomorrow and all that stuff. What else happened in the episode that I missed? Um, future Bulma left a message for past Bulma. Yes. Uh, I don't know if that was planned or if she just assumed that Bulma is going to be smart to figure it out, but she now has a plan essentially to create the time machine. Uh, I still think the blue stuff that we saw like four episodes ago is the fuel that we saw. Monaka. Remember when Monaka showed up and Bulma was like, hey Monaka, come help me with this. And she was like doing that blue goo. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I was wondering what that was. Yeah, I so totally I, forgot about I that. feel like that has to be the fuel. And watch it be something goofy like, I don't know, like grape jelly or something. I don't know, blueberry <laughs> jelly just takes a long time to make. Uh, either way, it's weird because they keep pointing to, to the future. Like, oh yeah, we gotta go save the future. But Black just arrived with his time ring. So, I, like, is there even going to be need to go into the future? That's the question. I guess this is the first question I have for you guys. Do you think they will indeed go to the future still and why? And uh, if not, what do, you, what do you think is going to happen? Um, I don't think they will. I don't know. Uh, there's, I, there's no need. Yeah, I don't think there is. I mean, the only reason why he went back in the past in the first place is because he wanted to get help from the Z Fighter, but Black followed him. Like, he yeah. used his little uh, magic time ring, which again, only gods have. He found the rift, went through it, and at first I thought it was a possibility of just him sending a message, but no, he's actually there because we see him fight in the next episode. So it's going to be interesting to see that unfold. But If he really is a god, I think that him going back into time is against the rules yeah technically I mean, it's against the rules if Unless... he's fighting for justice to put back the that future that should have been yep. destroyed then going to the past is also is like a crime and that's not justice so um i think this goku black must have some type of other thing behind him driving yeah, him it's to possible do, whether he's evil or if he's like goku whoever he is um, and he just wants to fight or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But the that's other, interesting. the other hole in my theory is he doesn't have an attendant. And so far, mm -hmm. we saw two gods mm -hmm. of destruction who all had attendant. Technically, even yeah. the Omni King had attendants. So that's true. Yeah. 
maybe he's an ex god destruction maybe he got fired i don't know there is some kind of answer we're going to get in the course of the next couple weeks and uh i just know it's going to be crazy because so far this arc has just been <laughs> beautiful yeah, yeah. Also, we finally got the experience of uh, Trunks talking to Trunks. <laughs> yeah. No more scandal. They find out. Go future me. Yeah. <laughs> no fighting. Um, is there anything else that we missed? I think we covered pretty much everything in this episode. I did want to mention the fact that that flashback where um, Trunks defeated, uh, or he prevented Majin Buu from ever like surfacing. Mm -hmm. um, it just makes me think about all the times that the Z fighters could have prevented this stuff from happening yes. had they not just sat there and waited and let things happen. I'm glad you said that because there's one more thing I wanted to mention. When Weiss is explaining why it's against the law to travel, he talks about the butterfly effect. It's like if you change one thing, it can lead to the destruction of even the universe. And yes. I mean, look how different the timelines are. When Trunks went back in time and told everybody about about the androids, they prevented the future from being destroyed, prevented Cell from ever attacking, sort of. Uh, they basically saved the future. Majin Buu showed up, now Majin Buu's an ally, and like the future is completely different. Whereas in the past, Trunks is still the only sole survivor. You can't use the Dragon Balls to bring everybody back. Uh, there's no Majin Buu in the future now. Remember, he became a good ally in the end. So everything is completely different, and I feel like... It's wrong. Maybe it's because this imbalance is why Black showed up in the first place, which I kind of hope it is. Because the thing that I really want is for them to reveal that the reason why Black is attacking in the first place is because of like something tying back to the story that we saw a while back. Because we got two of those yesterday. We got one seeing uh, Bobby existing, in, uh, Bobby and uh, Devorah existing in the future, and the other one is we saw the whole uh, what did I say earlier? There's, there's something else that was tied back to the past. Uh, whatever I said. Either way, we we got two things tied back to the past of the series, and I loved seeing that. So if this is indeed something to do with the past of something that happened in the series, whether it be Dragon Ball, or Dragon Ball Z, or even. With Super recently, I think maybe a badass way to tie the story together. So yeah, it would be, and I think um, having one future that's really peaceful and then mm -hmm. one that's like totally wrecked is balance in a way. Yep. And one last thing I want to say before I end this video, this review is again we want to hear from you guys. So feel free to just fill the comment section with your awesome words and thoughts. Uh, I still don't think this is Universe Six. I keep seeing it on a weekly basis. Yeah, I don't. I never thought that. Yeah, universes are like here. This is this is a. They're timeline. in the same time plane. Yeah. The different so, universes are all in the same time plane. Yeah. That so like crossing universes. I mean, it's perfectly legal from the sounds of it. I mean, we see the the gods do it, but even Wiss himself says that traveling through time is even against the rules for gods. So it's 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 very unlikely this is Universe Six because if it was Universe Six, they would just go go over like it's nothing. I mean, freaking Wiss can bust out his little rectangle car cube. His uh, what are those cube cars called? I forget what they're called. Yeah, you can bust out that, that car and just drive over to Universe 6 and take care of it. So it's not Universe 6. It's literally a different time. So I want to kind of toss it out there again. But with that said, next Saturday is going to be awesome. So um, I guess stay tuned. <laughs> Let's uh, see what happens next week when we get the official first showdown of Black vs. Goku. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be just the beginning. There's a lot of surprises here and Toriyama has probably gotten a really cool story for us. So I cannot wait to see what's going to happen in the series. So yeah. Anything else? Nope. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you're high for Dragon Ball Super, again, push that like button right in the balls. Show some support for our boy Trunks, who is not behind me. I forget the point behind me. Uh, and I guess let me know your ideas, theories, speculations, whatever, what you thought about the episode in the comment section below. And we'll see you guys next week, next Monday, for episode 50 of the Dragon Ball Super. Oh, girl. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Okay, bye. <laughs>